It sounds like science fiction. Laboratories working on designer babies and bringing back the extinct woolly mammoth. But both could be a possibility for scientists who are working closer than ever to creating artificial life. At the SynBio Beta Conference in London, synthetic biologist Drew Endy said the cost of synthesizing DNA, the building blocks of life, is now less costly, opening up more avenues for research. When I first started teaching at MIT, building one letter of DNA from scratch cost four US dollars a letter. Today it's four cents a letter. And um, you know the consequence of that is I used to order designs for my students, say 20,000 base pairs of DNA. Uh, this year, this spring, I'm ordering 10 million base pairs of DNA. Recently, a group of global researchers announced they are close to building a complete artificial genome for baker's yeast. Endy envisions a new, more productive synthetic yeast 2.0. Yeast is an important organism because it makes beer, it makes bread, and wine, and so on. So what might yeast 2.0 be good at making? And the answer is, not totally obvious yet, but it seems like it'll be useful for making uh, any medicine that's now uh, sourced from a plant. Any plant natural product, for example, could probably be made in a fermenter with brewing. And yeast 2.0 will make that process more reliable, more readily distributable. But synthetic biology, like other forms of genetic engineering, has its critics, especially in the areas of the environment and food. Advocates for the research believe this is not justified. A lot of folks are concerned with uh, things that you might take in. Uh, and would that change your DNA? Of, of course not. Now you have your own DNA. If you eat an apple or Arctic apple, where we have uh, silenced an enzyme so that when you slice the apple it doesn't turn brown, um, you can eat that apple and it tastes as good as any other and probably better. To help fight the Zika virus, Intrexon is using the technology to create millions of genetically altered mosquitoes. They will be released in Brazil to try to curtail mosquitoes carrying the Zika virus. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.